they've adapted more this tourney i mean it's not like we're bad or anything i think people really don't understand the i mean everyone is like very focused on results right like all that matters to people is if you win or lose it doesn't matter how close the games are it doesn't matter if there's anything going on so like you know we're traveling the first two cups we're traveling the first two cups so we literally we played two sessions i think the first two weeks it like in preparation for the first cup we played like two or three q sessions um and then obviously you know we were traveling and playing on like the fucking laptops and then i got sick and i got covid and then wiz got sick and i'm still sick now and we haven't been playing and everyone think everyone just assumes that we're just terrible now <laughs> everyone's just like yeah fucking the move is terrible they never practice they're fucking awful and it's like dude i i've been dying i've been dying what the fuck you want me to do man i'm still fucking sick how am i still sick it's been three weeks the guys are shields over But the good news is, the good news is, I'm finally feeling like a little bit better. Um, <coughs> I'm feeling a, I'm feeling a little bit better. I just, uh, um, hehehehe. <laughs> Oh, I love getting static wins. That was fun. I'm feeling a little better. Yeah, I'm just still sick. I think the biggest thing is I'm just tired. Like, I'm just, I feel just permanently tired. Beard looking fire. I'm going to try to grow a beard. I got some fucking, uh, I'm going to try the, the beard oil tech to help the dormant hair follicles. Because at the end of the day, a beard is all, it's all genetics, man. But I'm going to try and see if it's possible for me to actually grow a beard. I'm going to try. We're going to see if it's actually possible. Um, we're going to try. I feel like I would look good with like a... Oh shit. Hold on. Hold on. Ah! I fucking hate this boomkin. Stop fucking jumping around, bro. Just stand still. Just stand still. You're jumping around is doing nothing. We won. We won. Who died? Oh my god, the hunter, the mage died. We play the tourney this weekend, Saturday. Uh, we're against Drake's team. So, it's actually pretty crazy. So, we've had a really rough tourney season because, you know, traveling. We've been sick. I've been sick for fucking three weeks now. Wiz got sick. We haven't been able to practice, so we just haven't been good. Like we just, we have not been playing as well as we should be and as well as we are more than capable of. So we've had a pretty rough tourney season. I think we got sixth place into third, into sixth, and we were seed number five going into cup number four. And going into cup number four, which started this week, we were basically in a position where we are basically just going to be in the gauntlet. Like no matter what, we're gonna be in the gauntlet unless somehow everyone fucks up majorly, we're gonna be in the gauntlet and we were like fully prepared for that as a team. Now, it's almost like the universe is correcting itself for all the misdeeds that they've brought upon me in the last eight years of tournaments because I'll give you guys a little uh, little explanation here, a little context on that. In 2018, start of 2018, when the move first formed, spring season AWC. So AWC in the spring of 2018, there were three cups and then a finals. In those three cups, I think we got like fourth. We got either fourth or third, and then we got second. And going into cup number three, we were like seed number two by a little bit. We were a little bit above three and four. And we were basically like pretty locked in for making finals and making the LAN. 
This is back when we still had lands. So spring finals, we were basically, we were seed number two, I think, a little bit above two, three and four. And we were basically like guaranteed land at that point. All we had to do is not fuck it up. And this is back when Pika was still in school. So Pika was still in college at this point. And his college classes, he had classes the same day as the tournaments, as the qualifier days. And this is also when the qualifier day was like an hour or two earlier than it is now. They used to do them a little bit earlier. So now I think they start them at 4 p.m. PST. They used to start them at either 2 or 3 p.m. PST back then. So qualifier day, you know, we queue the open bracket, me, Wiz, Jelly. And we're playing because normally you get a few like free a freebie games, so to speak. Just because, you know, you're, you're fighting teams that are, you know, just signing up, open sign up, slower experience. You get a bye week or something. You get a buy or something. So we play and we eventually get to a Fist Weaver Monk, Prot Warrior, Arms Warrior team in the upper bracket. And the only way we could beat this team, and even with Jason, it was fucking so awful because we're playing RPS into double warrior Fist Weaver Monk. But our best comp into them was just playing RPS. Like that was our obviously our best matchup at the time. So upper bracket, we get this team. Prop Warrior, Arms Warrior, Fist Weaver Monk. And Jason is still in class. He's still in class and he's having to like fucking run home. Like run home on campus to get to his dorm to be able to play the games. So we're trying to delay as much as we can. We have to play a couple games. We end up being forced to play like one or two games. We go down, I think, 0-2. Jason finally runs home. We go 2-2, tie the series. And then we end up in a 3-2 series. We lose and get knocked to the lower bracket. Then in the lower bracket, this is a fucking insane story. Then in the lower bracket, we're waiting on our series for literally three and a half hours. Let me repeat that. We lost our series in the upper bracket to a fucking tank team. And then we waited three and a half hours to play our second series that was going to make us qualify for top eight for the weekend. And the reason we did this is because the team ahead of us that was playing their series, the team that lost decided to dispute the series for three fucking hours instead of just taking their loss like a fucking man take your fucking loss just accept it you lost it's over they lost their series they disputed their series for three and a half fucking hours so we waited there sitting at our computer tilted as shit after we lost to a tank waiting three and a half hours to play our series and then you know what happens after we wait three and a half hours you know what team we end up fighting in the lower bracket another fucking tank we fight fucking Bean because Bean is a fucking goober who's the biggest troll ever and was playing prop paladin all the time. So after we wait three and a half hours because this team is disputing their loss, we fight Bean playing prop paladin. We lose three to two and we get knocked out and we don't make top eight. And now it's like, wow, this fucking sucks. We didn't make top eight for the tourney. Holy shit. Are we still going to be able to make land? Well, the funny thing about that is when you looked at the bracket and when you looked at the standings, it's like, okay, the only possible way, and this is what I mean by the universe is correcting itself. The only possible way to not make land and not make the spring finals is if Dilly Poo's team that season, Dilly Poo's team played jungle and they got eighth place in literally every cup. And the only way for us to not make finals is for Dilly Poo's team to win the entire fucking cup. And sure enough, we sat there. I will never forget these. I will never forget these two days, dude. I'll never forget the two tournament days. We watched on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday, we watched Dilly Poo's team play two series and 3-0 both their teams. So we're watching and we're thinking, okay, the only way we don't make finals is if Dilly Poo wins the tournament. So game series number one for Dilly Saturday, 3-0. And we're like, okay, that's fine. Like this is this team they can beat. They're playing jungle. It's whatever. Like they got a 3-0, 3-0. And then I think they, they beat the next team again, 3-0. And we're like, holy fuck, Dilly's top four. Like there's no way they make fucking, they, there's no way they win tomorrow, right? Because they got to fight Liquid. Next day, Sunday, they go against Liquid. They beat Liquid 3-2, Jungle versus Windwalker DK. 
and we're sitting there thinking, holy fuck, there's no way Dilly's team is going to make the fucking finals and just win this tournament after getting eighth place for two cups back to back. Like, there's just no fucking way. So they win three series. They win two series on Saturday. They win on Sunday. And then we're thinking, okay, now they have to beat Jaws team. And I shit you not, the second we saw them beat Liquid, we were just like, yeah, it's over. Like, it's so fucking over. Like, they're just going to shit on Jaws team. Because Jaws team at the time played Rogue Mage. And Jungle was really good into Rogue Mage. And then, dude, it was so funny. Oh, my God. I wonder if Wiz remembers this. It was so funny. I want to say they lost the first game. Or they lost the first two. As Rogue Mage versus Jungle. And then Jaws team, which at the time was Jaw, Roasties, and Rub Cub. <laughs> at the time they were like yeah i think we're just gonna play rps because the move plays rps into dilly and they always beat them so we should just play rps so i'll never fucking forget this they're down 0-2 and they start telling wiz that they're gonna play rps so wiz leaves our call he lives he leaves our discord joins their discord gives them like a five minute coaching session on how to play rps versus jungle comes back to our discord and i'll never forget it wiz just goes yeah i tried to tell them how to play rps uh they're definitely losing we're fucked and then we watched them play two games of rps and get shit on both games back to back lose the finals 4-0 dilly's team makes lan we get knocked down to seed number five it was actually fucking insane like oh my god the amount of times that we've sat here as a team and we're looking at like anyone who watches football or basketball or whatever and you understand like playoff contentions and shit it's so insane that we've sat here so many times and we're like okay so the only way that we're gonna make land is if we get at least third place and then this team loses and then this team loses but this team also gets sixth place and then this team has to get fourth and then this team has to get eighth and it's like then we can make land it's fried but I say all this and I give you all this context because now we are in the same situation as back then, except we are in the good side of it. So now we're on, now we're on the positive side of things where we were going to basically be in the gauntlet, no matter what we were seed number five, seed number four, we were going to be in the gauntlet. And now we are in a position to potentially be seed number three for the finals and be guaranteed qualification because out of all the things that could possibly happen liquid ended up losing yesterday and not being able to qualify for the top eight so liquid got knocked out they're not in the top eight which means that they have now 232 points in the standings which means that if our team gets third place or higher we pass them in the standings and get third seed and qualify for finals and then i think we would end up going against f tier for the first round of the finals so we went from basically accepting that we're going to be in the gauntlet to now we actually have a chance to make finals basically now we have a chance to make finals and not be in the gauntlet which is great because the gauntlet fucking sucks you do not you do not want to be in the gauntlet you don't want to be in the fucking gauntlet the gauntlet sucks you don't want to be there our games are Saturday. Basically how it's gonna go is, I think game number three on Saturday, we fight Drake's team in the upper bracket. And if we beat Drake's team, then we automatically qualify for regionals. If we, or regionals, holy fuck, uh, finals. If we lose to Drake's team, but we end up beating the Toads and then winning one series on Sunday, then we qualify for finals as well. So basically we're just, we're, we're in a good position now where it's kind of in our hands. Our fate is basically in our hands now, so...